guys my name is Lucy Marichet and welcome to my channel thank you for coming by thank you for stopping by if my content resonates with you please go right ahead subscribe hit the notification bell and boom you are part of the tribe welcome to my channel I love you guys thank you for the subscriptions for the commentary and all that I love you today we're gonna speak about 10 signs that you are awakening or have awakened when i talk about awakening in this context i'm talking about waking up basically waking up from a slumber or a sleep so in this context we are talking about waking up from societal bs societal impositions societal um conformations we don't have to conform to society guys this is the whole thing about this awareness that is sweeping the universe. Right now, most people are awakening or have awakened. It is amazing how people are beginning to open their third eye. It's insane. Enlightenment is sweeping over the continent, the country, the universe, you know, and it's, it's, it's just amazing. So now let's get into it. Just 10 signs. Of course, there are many other signs, but Today, we're just gonna cover just 10. Number one, when you find or feel the urge to reconcile to your younger version. And now, this is also based on my experience. Um, I mean, my, my journey of awakening began when I hit 40. That is like, something just happened. Like, oh my gosh, I, I started being aware of a lot of things and wanting to change a lot of things for the better, of course. But it's been two years and it's been amazing it's been beautiful but the first thing i realized when i i began to awaken was that i wanted so badly to reconcile with my younger version i just felt the need to reach out to her i almost felt like i left her somewhere and she's feeling so sorry for herself and it's almost like there was a gap i needed to bridge right and i you know i i got to a point where i started writing her letters releasing her and telling her that you know it's okay we are gonna work this journey you know i was on some take my hand i'm here you know let's forgive her let's let's release her and let's tell her she's beautiful and and you know i just stretched out my hand and reconciled with her and we are one right now so it's a good idea for for you guys to to start reaching out to the little um, version of yourself your younger version and begin to reconcile so that there's no you know reservations as you as you progress as you grow you don't have this bitterness that's still left behind you know you have that sense of forgiveness that you've forgiven yourself and and, and you're here now and, and you you know you're living purposefully that's important. So that's one of the signs for me that I wanted so much to reconcile with the younger version of myself to let her know that it is all good. Come, we are one now and we are going to slay this queendom, right? That's number one. Number two, you are sure of who you are and how you fit in in respect to the wholeness. So now, the minute you start having that awakening or that awareness that you are part of the whole you are connected with everything with the insect with the soil with the tree with the sky with the universe with your deity with your god with your neighbor with your brother we are all connected guys there is nothing that has separated us we create these illusions but we are interconnected every single body on this universe is connected you are connected to every little thing i'm just gonna sip a bit and once we realize the spirit of oneness, that is just cemented by love, things begin to make sense, trust me. And that's a sign that you are awakening to the fact that you are connected to everything, the tree out there, the forest, the rivers, the oceans. And that is just so powerful, guys, to understand that there is no um, huge ratio between demand and supply. There shouldn't be that level of competition, you know, the... The, 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 the ratio is not as far and wide apart as we humanity makes it up to be. We are really all connected. That's how you get to know that you are awakening to the truth of life. Number three, being on your own doesn't bother you. Look, I am, this is my favorite because that is such a strong indication. When one is comfortable, 
in being around, you know, when you're comfortable with being in your space alone, that just shows that you, you rely on internal validation and your environment does not detect, you know, how you feel or how you should feel. Um, you know, it goes to show how strong internally one is. Sometimes just step away from the noise, you know, and, and just, just bask under the glory and unravel that mystery behind the person that you are looking at, which is yourself, really. So when you start being comfortable with yourself for a couple of minutes, for a couple of hours, days, that's a very good sign that you are awakening, you know, because you have leaned towards the internal system to, to, you know, to strengthen you and fortify you. You are not affected by your external factors. Your environment does not affect you. You are self-reliant. You are enough. You are self-sufficient. That's what it means. And that is such a good indication that you are there, right? Quickly, guys, number four, you begin to see meaning, meaningful activity, you know, meaningfulness in life. Um, you begin to see the distinction between what is not meaningful and what is meaningful. You become aware to the fact that certain activities are not necessary. They don't fulfill you. They don't propel you to be purposeful. So things, little things like you don't have to gather to gossip, for example. Meaningless crap, you know? You don't, you need to start engaging in meaningful activities. Surround yourself with meaningful people, impactful people. You know, once you start making the differentiation, then you are on your way there or are there. So it's very important. Once you get that distinction, that's a good sign that you are awakening. Because now what happens is that you account for your time. You add value to your time. You know, you are not just living unintentionally. You know, you understand what adds value, you understand what takes value. So you are at a stage of awakening, definitely. Number five, less is more. I have found that a way of life from a minimalist perspective is the only sensible way. For me, I love being a minimalist. In other words, I love just holding on to those things and people that matter things of quality that are fit for purpose. So there is no need for so much clutter in one's life internally or externally. Whether it's in your house, if you don't need the table, get rid of it. If you don't need that anger in you, get rid of it. So what am I saying here? I'm saying declutter. You know, have things and people that are fit for purpose and are quality. You know, don't have things for the sake of having things, a lot of things, get rid of stuff, give away stuff, sell stuff. And that, that also talks to emotional baggage, you know, you know, and, and, and the lighter you become, you know, the, de the, the, the more you declutter, the lighter you become, you, you leave space for meaningful things, you know, and people, impactful things that add value, right? So less is definitely more in my journey, for example, when I talk about less and more, um, you know, when I went vegan, that was my first thing. Do I need it? No, I don't. I don't need meat. Uh, and then I started having these dialogues saying, but where are you going to get your protein? And I started rationalizing saying, but there's so many things I can get protein from. I don't need it from meat. So what is the actual purpose? Uh, same with the smoking. Do I really need it? It makes me cough. It makes me stink. Do I need to continue smoking? And there it was right there. The answer was clear. I do not need it. So why do I still have it? You understand? Do I need the extra weight? No, I don't need it. So it's, it's, it's for me, less is more. Quality fit for purpose is the way. Okay. Number six, you don't buy the fluff anymore. The societal Kool-Aid, you are done. The definition of beauty by social media is no longer relevant. The moves that social media does through the news, through the, it does not move you anymore. You have stopped buying to the fallacy and to all this bull that, that the, you know, the media just pushes down your throat. throat and you are done, you are not moved. 
that is a good sign that you are awakening it's an amazing sign that you are awakening that means you are not moved consumerism like you wake up to the fact that i don't need this you know beauty doesn't necessarily mean what society has portrayed it to mean you know and it's 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 insane because you start you start analyzing these things and you wake up to the fact that it has all been been lies all along so you don't buy it anymore you will be spotted number seven you will be spotted as different of course you know once you awaken people will not you you won't be everybody's cup of tea you will be named or labeled different strange you know how do you rock up with this hair in the corporate you know people are gonna question um you know your audacity that's exactly what happens people are going to question your audacity and you know you are going to be labeled different which is not such a bad thing because you are unique you have stepped out of you know the crowd um and you have stopped being a follower so that is a good sign when people start recognizing that you are a different person you are not affected by mob psychology you are not drinking societal kool-aid that is a good sign so keep it up number eight you begin to become purpose driven everything you do in life becomes intentional for example you wake up in the morning you create your day that is being intentional once you start doing that and you worry about such things you wake up in the morning you journal you you pray you meditate whatever you do you know you have order that is a good sign that you are awakening when you start understanding that you are a co-creator and you are intentional and purposeful, when you start doing things that want to, you know, you want to impact uh, humanity and not yourself, you want to start serving, understand you are in the process of awakening. When it's all about everybody else besides you, you are on that journey. So keep it up right there. Be purposeful and intentional. Number nine, you don't give a fudge what anybody says. People's opinions don't bother you anymore. You walk tall because you know your worth. You know your identity. You know who you are. You know who you are. And it becomes irrelevant what other people say. You just block them. As long as you do good, you are compassion. You do good by humanity. You do good by your deity. You are sorted. Don't worry. You will never please everybody in life. So best know that. So walk tall. And just don't give a fudge number 10 you are less anxious about the future and the past now you know for sure that you are awakened when you sit in the present and start crafting your present when you start breathing and acknowledging the magical moment of the now because think about it focusing on the past is not going to serve you well because there's so much hurt and pain and drama at times that you don't even you know it's not necessary to go back to the past. It's done. It's gone. Going to the future is almost the same because you have no control over it. I mean, who cares? We're not there yet. So why even bother being anxious? You want to stay here, slay in the now, queen, in the now, create your moment now because this is the only time that you can be accountable for now. And you can create in the now. It is beautiful right now, right here, right? So once you start acknowledging the magic in the now and staying in the present and stop worrying about the future and the past, then you know you are for sure in the process of awakening or have awakened, right? Those are my 10 points, guys. Just remember that a lot of us are awakening. A lot of our third eye, is this how you do it, are opening. We are beginning to look around and saying, okay, uh, why why and it's a good thing that everybody else is awakening people are looking after themselves people are asking the questions people are stepping out and being unique people are loving themselves and are believing that they are one with nature guys it is time it is time to open the eye i love you so much stay awakened i'm not gonna say be yourself that's something else you are not going to be yourself you are going to be the best version of yourself the highest self shift away from ego you are going to be the best version of your life i love you of yourself i love you so much 
Namaste. Thank you so much. God bless you and keep safe. Until next week. Peace.